successfully completed stage one of European geographical construction. However, within a year, Charles Trainer had betrayed his trust. Evidence was produced to show that he had deliberately held up progress on the diversion of northern British rivers. The master plan required completion here by May 1985. By June, Trainer was still insisting. Who's it? Right. Now that you're back, we'll get down to business, shall we? We'll have some explanations. Come on, the train! Easy. The jungle's full of eyes and ears, little girl. We don't want to attract attention. I won't do anything. You're hurting. Give me your word. Promise. <laughs> because I'm an old man now, you know. And I can't keep up with the youngsters the way I once could. Now, sit down. There's some things I need to know. What are you doing here? Why didn't you go back through the time barrier? Why should we? I saw Simon before, didn't he tell you? No. No, he never said anything about that. In fact, all he said about you was yes. that... break his word to me. Not even as far as you were concerned. Huh? Good boy. Good boy. Well, perhaps I shouldn't have been quite so violent with you, Liz. Because I need my neck for a while yet. <laughs> but it's so difficult for me to know friend from enemy anymore. What are you doing in this jungle? Why you? Uh huh. Now that wasn't the question. It's a strange place for you and Simon to be, isn't it? I mean, if you wanted to know something about the life of 1990, I'd have thought you'd have been better off back in the conurbations. Oh, we went out today to see. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. To see, I think, Simon's future self. Tell me. What does Simon think of his future self? I don't know. Don't know? He's still up there, a bit mixed up about it all, perhaps. And you? You like 2957. Like him? Well, as what Simon will be one day. No! Well, I mean... Oh, golly, can he really be like that? Such a coward! Mm -hmm. Honestly, Commander, it was shameful. He says he likes her, says he respects her, but he won't lift a finger to help her. Oh, no, not him. That'd be going too far. Who, Liz? Who does Simon, I mean, 2957, like and respect, but won't lift a finger to help? What do you want here? Something stands between us, you mean. The great issue of the times, perhaps. The struggle between light and darkness. And each of us must choose his side. Let me tell you a story, Liz. Many years ago, I made a very serious mistake. But I see now that it was a mistake on the side of the light. I was responsible for something called the Master Plan, Geographical Reconstruction. Yes, I know about that. And I refused to divert some rivers up north because I could see quite clearly that until adequate precautions were taken, this move would only result in terrible flooding, distressed areas, darkness. Eh? And I couldn't face that. So I... Uh, I've made my own arrangements. I tampered with the master plan. But uh, that can be very serious from a social point of view. It can make a man into a... A 
a misfit? If you like. Commander Trainer, I'm sorry, but I took it for granted you'd be one of the technocrats. Why? Well, just because it was you. I mean, in the past. Oh, <laughs> the past. The past is a long time ago. It's been a couple of light years since the past. I've seen the error of my ways, Liz. The heat doesn't stop rising, does it? Will it? Will it go on like this, Commander Trainer? Nobody knows, Liz. We're all at risk now. All in the grip of the master plan. Who is this mysterious personage that 2957 likes and respects, but won't help? Hmm? Oh, no. We who stand on the side of the light must stand together, fearlessly. Arthur Four! Arthur Four! Uh. Thank goodness. Are you all right? Yes, yes, perfectly. What on earth happened? How very strange. I thought... What is it? Nothing. I, I thought... Just a dizzy spell, nothing more. Pay no attention You'd to better it. see a doctor. No, 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 I'm all right. Is there anything new? Only that the national temperature's risen another two degrees. What did you say? Yes, I was just coming in here to put the glad tidings on dissemination. Why? For goodness sake, why is it happening? I've got to find a reason. Controller 2957. Oh, four. Hadn't you better clamber off that bandwagon? Yes, you've got it on the brain. It's perfectly clear to me that even though 2957 may have been a bit cavalier about pushing on with the sea curtain and so forth, it can have nothing to do with this situation. Why not? Because the two things simply aren't connected. Well, I don't see how they could be. Thank you. I'm not wrong about this, you know. A matter we don't understand. 2957 is working against the master plan. Paul, we do understand. He's the kind of man one might suspect of it. Not wholly dedicated to his work, other things on his mind. We're all of us entitled to a private life? Isn't the primary obligation of clones of our status to safeguard the master plan? To protect it from possible enemies, traitors? Would it make any difference to your opinion of 2957, I wonder? If you knew he was acting as protector to some misfits? Perhaps a number of them? Oh, yes. I have proof of that. Or shall have very shortly. What? Alpha 4 knows about the community? About Beth? Practically. He's got the hunters working for him in the jungle. How did he arrange that? Well, if you don't know, I don't. But I tell you, we were here in this office behind this desk. We heard him talking to someone on the screen. A clone called Delta 22. Look, Simon, uh, you, you better go. I'm grateful for all this, but you've stayed too long now. I got rid of Liz before she could cause any trouble. But I'm different. They know me. <laughs> yes, I know. And what but, uh... about Beth? I was a fool ever to get mixed up in that situation. Now, look, Liz says she's going to die if she isn't helped. But that's ridiculous. Nobody dies just because... Oh, Simon, why does everything have to happen at once? If only I could discover the reason for that mist. What mist? Well, it's still there, you know. It doesn't lift. The mist over the Southern Atlantic Ocean. The whole area is obscured. But why? I don't know. It just happened. Well, here, everything's just burning up. Don't expect me to know the answers. I was there when the major reconstructions were engineered, you see. Why, at the time of the cutting of the canals, Trainer gave me personal... Wait a minute. Simon, check these statistics with me, will you? What is it? The canals. The drainage canals. Now. These were originally designed to take away the excess water after the melting of the polar ice caps. Flow was a variable to be settled at need. That's right. But the water was to reach the pumps and be dispersed out into the Atlantic currents 
at a volume of 1,500 million gallons per day. No. What? It's got here. 1,200 million. What are you talking about? The figure was always 1,500 million. It's what's written down. 1,200 million? But that's extraordinary. There's been an error. I distinctly recall that. Oh. Well, yes, there certainly appear to have been errors, controller. Of all kinds, perhaps. Is it true this young man is a misfit controller? Go away, for I have reason to believe he is. Go away, I said. I'm at last getting a clue to the reasons yes, for the... Yes, yes, I overheard. I'm afraid it doesn't sound too promising for you. 1,500 million gallons per day pumped away rather than 1,200? An overkill. Who's to say what effect that mightn't have on the whole process of geographical reconstruction? Now, look here, Alfred. I wouldn't I... say too much more just now if I were you, controller. I'm invoking Article 203, Section D of the Service Code and relieving you of office for harboring a misfit and under suspicion of having tampered with the master plan. You'll find I'm completely within my rights. Completely. That's all for today, Vera. Oh, just a little more. No. <laughs> for my cabbages. For goodness sake, Vera, the cabbages are dead. They won't grow again. Can't you get that through your head? They might. You never know. One day it might rain again. Paul? Commander Trainer. Yes. Yes, that's right, Liz. Or, uh, I believe I call you Beth. I've told him all about us, Beth. But he's a technocrat. No. Is there somewhere more private where we can talk? Well, I don't know. I don't know whether to believe you or not. Commander Trainer on the side of the misfits. One of them, <laughs> whether he likes it or not. People don't change that much. You must believe me, Beth. It's very important now. I was, I was glad to hear about this community from Liz because I've seen others of them in my wanderings. We might... might be able to form some sort of a league eventually. Start to fight back. Change the world again. Yes. But is that still possible? I thought it had all gone too far now. Oh, I wouldn't take any bets on that if I were you, Liz. Well, we could always... always drill for water, and cultivate food somehow. Nature is seldom defeated, you know. She usually manages to recover in time, no matter what men have tried to do to her. That from Charles Trainer. <laughs> it's a topsy-turvy world, whichever way you care to look at it. Uh, let's just say that, uh, like the fear of hanging, betrayal by an old friend concentrates the mind wonderfully. Betrayal? Oh, yes. You see, before a man can be declared a social criminal, as I was, he must first be denounced. Well, it now appears that all along there was a trusted colleague ready and waiting to do that little thing for me. Who? The controller 2957. Oh, I was a fool to trust him blindly, of course. One gets into the habit of it. But from the beginning, from the beginning, he was always much too interested in my affairs. 
But the very first time he ever came into my office, I found him poking his nose into some confidential documents. He... Uh, that's all in the past. Controller 2957 has finally paid the price for his treachery. What do you mean by that? Oh, poetic justice, eh, Bert? I have seen to it that 2957 will work against the light no more. In fact, at this very moment, I should say, he's languishing in the darkness. It's Contrella, but under the circumstances... That's all right, Sixteen. We both understand the form. Then may I ask you to sit down? Here, what's happened? I can't move. An electronic lock, Simon. We get food and drink in due time, I take it. There are rules, I think. Even for villains who spent an entire career sabotaging the master plan. The boy is a misfit controller. That at least needs explaining. What happens now? We wait and see how far Alpha 4 manages to get with his charges against me, Simon. But what have you done wrong? You didn't make the mistake about the volume of water pumped into the Western Ocean, did you? I had personal control. And I organized it all on the basis of 1,500 million gallons per day. Not 1,200 million. And would a mistake like that account for everything that's going wrong? Those tapes. What tapes? Hmm? Oh, uh, something else that went wrong. Some instruction tapes of mine turned out to have been crudely edited. The culprit was never found. Edited? Tapes? Now, wait a minute. Well, I gave my word not to say anything at the time, but now I think it's different. Well, you remember that first day you brought me here? Yes. Well, I found Commander Trainer in the computer room. Trainer? Yes, and he was messing around with one of the computer tapes. Trainer? But how on earth? Oh, then that's it. Good grief, I might have guessed it. All this is Trainer's doing. But what's Trainer got against you? It was I who denounced Trainer, Simon. It was I who declared him a social criminal. Evidence against me to bring me down, to destroy me. Well, why haven't you produced results? What's the matter with you? Look, we can't find something that just isn't here, can we, Alpha Four? There are people in that jungle, and you know it. You're simply too stupid. No, sir. Look, I need that evidence immediately. Things have changed here. I presume I shall have to take personal control. Look, where are they if they're here, Alpha Four? That's all I'm asking. You don't know what it's like. It's hot. Everything's dying off. I don't reckon a rabbit could stand this place much longer. Will he find your receptor? Is there any chance? No, no. We concealed it in a tree. Oh, good. Then we can keep a close eye. These fellows carry provisions, you see. If we can wait till they're worn out and then mount an attack... Yes. We... But the only important thing is that they don't find us. I don't understand. Sometimes it's worse when the sun's gone down. It's hard to breathe. I don't mean that. You're worried about 2957, aren't you? Nonsense. Whatever happened, he brought it on himself. Though I would like to know what Commander Trainer meant by saying he paid the price, I must admit. He worries me. Commander Trainer's changed, Beth. He's different these days. Simon's not come back. He must still be up there with 2957. Simon? 
Whatever's happened. Just a routine maintenance check. The Delta clones keep up a round the clock shift. I wish I knew more about clones. Clones? Well, at the moment, I only know the general theory, not much else. You're lucky to know even that. It's been top secret right from the start. Has it? Yes. There was a time when Trainer took personal control of it all. Wouldn't even allow press releases. Clones were his concern more than anyone else's. They're the sort of creatures who don't argue. They just get on with things. But Commander Trainer's supposed to have betrayed the master plan. Yes. That's right. You denounced him for it? Yes. Is it true that clones have, well, a, a sort of built-in weakness? Simon, what are you talking about? Oh, just something I thought I heard once, that's all. The only built-in weakness clones have that I'm aware of is their devotion to the job in hand. They're utterly dedicated. Which means that right now, I'm at the mercy of Alpha 4's sense of duty. What's this? Controller to Nai 57's office. I thought we might be able to find out what's happened to Simon and him here. Yes, if we're caught. We won't be. Anyway, I only decided to come because you were so worried about 2957. That's not true. I allowed you to come because you were in such a state about Simon. Eh, I've still a community to think about. I can't go wandering around like this. It's... Wait, look! They're prisoners in those chairs. Looks like it. Well, I thought I might as well bring it along myself. Very well, you can release them for a little now. See what we've got here. I told the chef to take it seriously, you know. If we could find it, then well, it shouldn't be too hard. I'm afraid there's some worrying news. It seems there's been a measurable change in the nitrogen content of the air. Oh no! It's true. Official readings taken an hour ago. I'll try and get some sound on the picture. Hang on. You've had confirmation from other parts of Europe. Yes, it varies in places, but there's a general consensus. Maybe a temporary phenomenon. It better be. A shift in the nitrogen balance of the atmosphere could have serious consequences for us all. Stop! Don't move! No one's advanced a viable theory yet. It's impossible. Ah! 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 Ah!